The COVID-19 pandemic continues to affect countries around the world on two fronts, health and economic. Lockdowns and job losses have had crippling effects in the global business community. Despite the woes, St. Tusha has been able to sustain in the investment marketplace. Invest St. Tusha is reporting that not only is the island maintaining foreign direct interest, local investment has been strong. Jesse Leons reports. In its 2020 review, Invest St. Lucia, ISL, assures that the island remains a key investment destination. Chief Executive Officer Roderick Cherry says despite a 42% plummet in global foreign direct investment last year, St. Lucia has maintained appeal with all its investors. ISL is currently facilitating a total pipeline worth EC $4.8 million. In its recent annual press conference, Sherry reported that the organization exceeded investment and job targets in 2019 and 2020. In 2020, even with the lockdown in the tourism sector because of COVID, there was a 32% increase in Invest St. Lucia's pipeline for facilitation in the tourism industry. There remains a high interest from established brands such as Marriott, Hyatt and Hilton. ISL was able to facilitate one new investor that led to one new hotel opening during 2020. Another focus of Investor St. Lucia is the business process outsourcing sector, which saw 20% growth from both new and incumbent investors under ISL facilitation. In 2020, the sector created 771 new jobs in the market and is projected to create an additional 1,025 jobs in 2021. Investor St. Lucia also saw returns on its concerted effort to reach out to the local market. 20 proposals were vetted in the last six months, worth a projected $117 million and 1,025 jobs. ISL chairman is Pinkley Francis. Um, we've seen a lot of the, the local um, investors putting money out to grow their business. I mean, with permission, we can spoke about, um, we're in discussion with um, Baron Foods, um, and we are facilitating a major expansion, expansion in excess of $30 million. Um, we have um, we've seen Bryson Company down in Beaufort making major expansion and um, stepping into industries they have never done before. Um, so not just foreign investments are, are showing an interest in St. Lucia, which is obviously big for us. But, uh, you know, we have embraced the local investors and they are taking up the challenge and growing as well, which is very, very pleasing um, to me. I'm excited about that. Investor St. Lucia is also steady on its mission to make 600 St. Lucians landowners by 2021. We were able to create 100 new landowners in 2020. We continue on that quest with the addition of Lafargue development to our other housing developments at Boisjoli in Denry, Bosha in Miku. And, um, uh, and we are looking forward to the completion of the Lafargue development. By the end of 2021, Investor St. Lucia will also make available 1,055 land lots for sale under its land rationalization project. For the Government Information Service, I am Jesse Leons reporting.